Hey everybody, um, I've been playing, I don't know if some of you may have watched, I doubt many of you did, but um, I have been playing this game called Prison Architect. This is an alpha form, uh, so this is not a full complete game yet. Uh, there are a lot of bugs. Uh, please ignore the blinking water icons that will go away when I start, the, when I start time moving again. Because um, what happens is I just loaded the game up, and when you do that... It like has to reboot all the uh, the utilities. It's strange. I don't understand it, but that's the way it is. So anyway, um, again, it's an alpha. It's not even beta. It's alpha. Well, we're we're still kind of in that whole testing stage. Using my utilities. Okay, I wanted to show you my prison. Um, just kind of give you the dime tour, as it were. It's in the Shawshank Redemption. So um, this is the CEO's letter. This pops up every time you start a game. Um, I think every time you load a game, too, this is here. And it tells you the exact same thing, how to start, and that's about it. I'm assuming later this will get more in-depth. Will, these will never go... This is a to-do list that will never check off or go away. Um, again, beta. That's what it is. Um, so, uh, here we go. So, this right here, I think, is a terrible design for a prison to start. But we have here we have we have our deliveries and our garbage area here. You start these are pre-designated. You can move these or change them. But uh, these are these are pre-designated, and I haven't done that. Um, to get in from the de the deliveries are where prisoners are also dropped off. That so um, kind of have you have both you have the prisoners and everything else delivered here. So um, y'all enter through this large jail door, which is uh, the jail doors can only be opened by guards. Only guards can open the jail doors, and that's it. Uh, this is this right underneath it is a staff door. It can be opened by any staff member, like your workmen, or your cooks, specifically is the reason why it's there, is for the cooks. Um, so is this one. Um, it's the first thing coming here you see is a holding cell. Uh, this is where your overflow of prisoners go, at least mine anyway. Uh, requires to have a bench and a toilet, and that's it. Uh, I have this in case I accidentally get too many prisoners, or I have a few jail cells that go bad. I'll get into that later. Storage room is where you store your extra stuff. Like, this box has a tree in it that I tore down earlier. This one has a tree in it, too. There's a couple shower heads that I'm not using. A couple lights. A number of chairs that I got rid of. Um, another staff door. Only staff. These are locked staff doors. Only staff can get in again. Um, jail door. Okay, you'll notice that a lot of these jail door. There's actually a jail door here. You'll notice a lot of these have this green icon on it. That means that they are locked open. Um, locked open simply means that uh, um, it is basically what that they're just open in an open position. This jail door here is open. This cutting off this right here. This one to the uh, to the kitchen or the cantina is also open here. The thing about this is, if I hit, there's this button right here, if I hit lockdown, all of these pris all these jail doors will instantly close and lock, and they will be unable to be opened by anybody, even guards. Um, which I think is, that's kind of a problem, but that's okay. Um, I would like an option that would let all the doors be locked, except by guards that had the keys and whatnot. Um, because sometimes when you lock these down, I will cut off guards from the rioting prisoners. <laughs> and, like, wait, no, the guards need to be with the rioting prisoners to, to beat them down and stop them. Um, anyway, we have a common room right next to the storage room. Uh, you see I have a pool table here, a bank of phones, some benches, and some TVs here for the prisoners to watch TV. Uh, right next to that is the yard. Or above that, anyway, is the yard with more pool tables, some weight benches some just normal sitting benches, and more telephones. Next to that on the right here is a workshop. This is where the prisoners come and make license plates. Uh, this makes me an obscenely amount of money. And I mean that. It's an obscene amount of money. Uh, this over here is my, what I would like to call the administration wing. Um, again, blocked off by multiple staff doors. Um, I have a psychiatrist, a foreman, a chief, uh, chief. Uh, that's an accountant, and my warden. Uh, these guys do minimal things, and once you have complete, once you've gotten the options they give you, they do nothing else at the moment. Uh, that's in this screen here. This is bureaucracy. 
Um, you can get a prison lawyer right now that is it has absolutely no function. As you see, it says right there, currently serves no purpose. <laughs> um, uh, groundskeeping is for unlock the gardener. He will keep your outdoors area tidy, which is great, except I really don't have any outdoor areas. Um, I have some janitors, because you need those. Um, you can actually get the prisoners to clean the prison, but you have to hire a janitor first for it to work. Um, I don't know if that's intended or not. It doesn't tell you that. I just, I had assigned a bunch of prisoners to work in the janitor's closet. They would kind of go in there and stay there and not do anything. So then I just said, okay, fine, then screw it. And then I hired a janitor and suddenly the prisoners were cleaning the place, so whatever. Um, health doctors for the infirmary, which I've got, uh, the, psychi the psychologist actually helps you figure out what your prisoners want. Um, your prisoners have certain needs that you kind of have to attend to. They're very needy people. So long as you keep them relatively happy, they will not riot or be angry and start breaking things or things along those lines. Uh, they will attempt to escape regardless, um, to a certain extent. Some of them will, despite being happy, will in fact try to dig their way out. That is something new in this alpha build. Um, this uh, alpha 13 was released rather recently, and they introduced the idea of people tunneling out of your prison. That has happened a few times, actually. Uh, not on this prison, though. This prison, I've had people running out of the doors, and I'll, I'll explain that again in a second, and why my entrance is a terrible idea. Uh, this is the, uh, the chief here. You can, with him, you can... Uh, um, actually change your prison policy, so where now I have, um, the prison policy is your punishments for bad things, like, uh, they had, like, if, if you were found with a luxury contraband item, like gin, booze, that kind of stuff, there wasn't any penalty for that, I said, no, you're gonna be locked down for two hours, for, like, in a half hour, because that's wrong, and you should not have that stuff. Contraband is all sorts of stuff, uh, this helps you find it and figure out where it's coming from. I have not found a good use for that yet, although I probably should. I may be just not smart enough to figure that out. Patrols and deployment, I'll show you what that is later. And I have these things, I don't think they're that cool, honestly. These are cameras. I, closed circuit television. I just figured out what that meant. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if I like it so much. They're, they're, maybe I'm not using them right, I don't know. I, I, uh. Uh, but to unlock all of that, the, the accountant, by the way, allows you to buy... Um, land out here so you can expand further. It also... I don't know what this... This is a glitch in the matrix. Apparently that is going to be there. Okay, sorry, whatever. Anyway, um, the accountant allows you... This here is your daily cash flow. Um, your accountant actually allows you to go into the red on this, which is important early because you don't have a lot of cash flow early. Um, this is actually kind of insanely high, considering early you get, like, not nearly that much. Uh, but again, this is actually not where I get most of my cash from. You get cash from, basically, the amount of prisoners you have. Um, and you get, like, a federal grant of 1500 bucks a day, and I'm getting $7,000, uh, $100 bucks per prisoner. Um, and then you have to spend stuff on workers, guards, administrators, staff, food, that kind of stuff. Uh, but, again, what's not figured in is the money you make from these. We'll get into that. Uh, basically, your prison automatic... When you set this up, your prison automatically purchases these metal sheets. I don't know how much they are, but they are like 30 bucks or something a sheet. Something like that. Uh, your workers then cut them up into these things and then turn them into... And then press them into license plates. And they produce quite a lot of license plates from these things. And that's a lot of money. Um... <laughs> This, this, I think, has netted me about 9000 bucks a day, um, just from these things. Alright, anyway, moving on, let me see here. Down here is where we have the canteen. Um, it's kind of dirty, but, you know, I mean, I have only, like, three janitors, and then I have, I think, about four... <laughs> I have, like, four prisoners doing all of this, so, yeah. Not, not, not a lot. Um... Yeah, here's the canteen. Uh, this is where all the prisoners come to get fed. Uh, here's a kitchen. Not not a big kitchen, but it's, it's a kitchen enough. A number of cookers. I don't know if you need this many cookers, honestly. I just, like, kind of like, I'm just going to keep buying stuff, because I wanted to. Uh, here we got the first, uh, this is prison block A, I guess, because it's the first one I built. Um, prisons! This one's, this is actually a maxi size prison, because normal cells... Uh, only require it basically to be this big, uh, two by three square. 
Um, they have to have a toilet and they have to have a bed. And obviously they have to be surrounded by walls and a door. So this one's actually exercised because I completely misjudged how much space I was going to have when I was building it. That is okay. Uh, but these are basically your, your cells right now. It's two, almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the game. Uh, the um, uh, Right now they are in free time, so all the cell doors are open. Uh, these will not actually shut until um, sleep time. So right now the prisoners are allowed to be out and about. Doing whatever they want to. Over here is the infirmary. Um, oops. Here's the infirmary. This is where people go when they're sick or injured. I actually think injured. I don't think the people actually get sick in the game. Uh, this is a laundry in which I accidentally totally left the wall. This used to be a cl this up here used to be my cleaning closet. Um, it was kind of small, um, so I actually unwalled this and expanded the. Uh, well, I've been meaning to expand the laundry. I left the piece of the wall here. It's interesting. Uh, here are some solitary confinement rooms. Um, these little strips, they could be like one square big. As long as it's surrounded by walls and a door, it's solitary confinement. Um, yeah. This is a second workshop. Uh, these little things here are your closed circuit television monitors. A guard must be within this in order for the cameras to work. And basically what that does is it eliminates the fog of war. Um, it's not on right now because they just loaded the game. Uh, it, this should turn on as I have time progress. Or I accidentally turned it off and I don't know how to turn it back on. But anyway, what the camera does is if, like, within this range, it's like three of these or something like that. Um like the three cameras in in the closest range to this will be basically will light up the room or at least you know the part of the room it's looking at uh, and will eliminate the fog of war while a guard is here but a guard must be here in order for that to happen otherwise it, they don't work I don't like it so much I don't know I, I, I'm still trying to figure out exactly the problem with the fog like the fog of war does hide things like um you know, fights going on and things like that, but you can still see it because blood ends up on the ground, so I don't know. Uh, this is the visitor's room. Um, people kind of visit. Mm, family needs, kind of a thing. Uh, cell block B, kind of big. Um, more prisoners. More solitary confinement units over here. Uh, these have proper solitary doors. Um, the other ones just had jail doors, but it works just fine. Don't know if that's intended or not. Uh, I actually have two showers here. Um, because it was just getting too big and I needed another one. So, there it is. Uh, press right up against the yard here. This is my maximum security prison block. Um, these, these prisoners here with the, uh, darker orange, orange red, are actually maximum security prisoners. The orange ones are normal prisoners. Uh, and I don't have any grays, but grays are minimum security prisoners. This room up here is actually going to be my maximum security shower. Um, I wanted to try this out and see if, it, if I can get that to work. Because um, in the morning, I'm finding I'm having a lot of fights when the max security guys go take a shower with the normal security guys. And uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's a problem. So I wanted to keep them as far as much away from each other as I could. Uh, the next step is going to be to actually make their own kitchen. I don't know if that will work. Because I've heard things about the cooks just like basically going back and forth between the kitchens and never actually doing anything. So that might be a problem. So we will have to consider that. Uh, biggest flaw design of this is what I can tell right now is basically these staff doors here. Uh, I have run into a problem where <laughs> I've had people... Because you can assign... You can actually assign prisoners to work the kitchen. I've had a problem of people who are working in the kitchen going out here because they assign them into the kitchen so they have to go actually go pick up the deliveries. The problem with that is the deliveries are up here. <laughs> so so they go out here and if it's not in like in the middle of working, they will suddenly like it'll suddenly go off of work time into like eating or free time. And they will be out in the middle of nowhere and suddenly be like Oh, hey, I can w leave. And they just walk away. <coughs> or, there will be a prisoner working here. He will decide he's going to try to escape.
because this door will be opened by some staff member. So he will, like this right here, so he'll run out here, run up to this door, and some other staff member will just be here walking through, and he'll run away before anybody, any, um, any, uh, any guard can get there and stop him. I have guards on patrol in this area. It has seemingly helped a little bit. You'll notice these two prisoners are out here. As you can see under their names, well, sort of, they've both been released. They have served their time and they are done. They are leaving my prison. And good riddance to them, I guess. Okay, so, um, uh, utilities, my utility is a mess. I mean, this is just... There is no rhyme or reason to any of this. Um, I probably should have thought this out a bit better, but then again, I probably should have thought the design of the building out better. Oh, by the way, um, to help prevent too many uh, diggings, uh, and basically what happens is every so often prisoners will decide they want to leave, so they start digging from their toilet, and it's always from their toilet, and they go to the nearest way out possible. Uh, if I didn't have this wall here, that would literally be about four, three spaces down this way, pop up here, and just walk out. Uh, this, um, basically this perimeter fence makes it very, very hard for them to get out of here. So what they would probably do is dig out here, walk over, like, walk out here, and then try to leave out this way. Um, that, or they will just dig and try to dig through. Uh, they can dig through this perimeter wall, it just takes forever. So, to prevent this, I try to search the prison blocks at least once every other, like, every third day. If not every other day. Um, and what that is, is when everyone's gone to eat, like in here, I have the guards search the prison block. Uh, so I don't search prisoners unnecessarily because they don't like that. I have metal detectors here that helps with the contraband. Unfortunately, it also seems to get a lot of prisoners uh, searched who don't want to be, but... Like right now, I've had four prisoners that have been unnecessarily searched. Uh, that's an issue, but, yeah, whatever. Um, they can deal with it. Oh, this is my cleaning cloud. They call it a cleaning cupboard? Cupboard? Uh, I don't know. It, it's a... Alright, try this. Okay. Somebody just posted a link in my... Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry. Alright, um... So that's pretty much the prison as it stands right now. The goal is to purchase this plot of land up here. That's $20,000. Um, I'm actually almost there. Um, and kind of expand upwards. Um, get more prisoners in another block up here. Uh, I'm not really... I don't know if I should... If I'm going to try to get too many more maxi security prisons. I already... I already actually have more maximum security prisoners than I do have maximum security cell blocks. Uh, you can delineate that here. Deployment. Um, I have this cell block listed as maximum security only. Um, unfortunately, since not all of them... Since I don't have enough room for all of them, some of them are probably being put in general population. These grayed out areas here are delineated as staff only. It means only staff can go there. Actually, I'm going to make the kitchen staff only. Um, this is where you can also sign jobs. Um, I thought I had done that earlier, but I'm getting rid of the kitchen jobs because too many people try to escape from there. <laughs> so they can become janitors and laundry people. All right, I'm in the laundry room. Uh, this is where you get, you get the clean prison uniforms because... You know, no, uh, ha a clean uniform is a happy uniform. Yeah, let's move on. Right now we are in free time. Soon it will be time to eat. Uh, that'll be at 2 o'clock. In the meantime, while, while the prisoners are going to be eating here, and they all go down to eat, let's, let's watch a little bit of eating here, I guess. Um, so everybody's passing through the metal detector. Everybody's fine. So, um, <coughs> oh, that's a visitor. A visitor has to, <laughs> this poor, poor visitors have to walk all the way through. Like, the, this is probably terrible design. I, you know, I really probably should put the visiting room here and move the holding cell over here. I really should do that. I'm not going to.
but I should do that. So, um, now all the prisoners are eating. Um, and while they're doing that, I am going to build a shower. So let me do, in fact, I'll do that on stream here, or in the video. Well, let's see. Uh, objects. To build stuff, we go to objects. Um, where are my shower heads at? Shower, shower heads, there we go. Shower heads. Alright, shower heads, shower heads, shower head. Now, I'm not paying for any of those because I actually had those in storage. Now that I don't have those in storage anymore. kind of build a few next to each other up here. And, uh, you know, um, saw a video once. Excuse me. Somebody said it was actually a good idea to put, um, bath, uh, um, toilets in the shower room. I have found that is actually a very good idea. Uh, drains. You need drains. Drains are important so water doesn't get everywhere. Uh, I noticed that the electricity is not getting quite as far as it needs to, so we are going to install electric lines into here. That is probably an amazingly great idea for a shower room, but who cares? Anyway, you have to go to rooms here and, and designate this as a shower room. Now, as you notice here, uh, the shower room is failing right now, as in it's not a shower room because there is no shower heads. Or, or no shower heads. Okay, uh, we have moved into work time, and this is something I did not, um, keep track of too much. Uh, I'm trying to keep sure, make sure that no one's escaping. Okay, good, still got five. Alright, so, um... I like to have guards in the workshop. I like to think that cuts down on... Uh, I like to think that cuts down on the uh, contraband. I have no evidence to <laughs> back that up with, but I like to think that uh, it does. So, you know. Oh, and uh, the shower has need water. <laughs> right, of course. Who would have known? Um, so, water into here. And small pipes. Oh. Pipes, because they're cheaper. Uh, that is another thing too. The reason you use small pipes in the cells is because the big pipes um, are actually easier to dig through. Like if they start tunneling where the big pipes are, uh, they will it'll they'll be able to tunnel faster. See, and they have sheet metal. That is this stuff here. This sheet metal here. This is, these are the prisoners. They're working. Working and work. There they are working, working, working. That is the sound that contraband was found, I believe. Yep. Yeah, there it goes. Drill stolen from workshop an hour ago, and a uh, spoon stolen from the canteen two and a half hours ago. Well, that guy is going to go into uh, lockdown for two hours now. Which means he gets to go into a cell, and he gets to stay there for two hours. Okay, the fog of war has actually come back on, so you can see what I'm talking about now. Um, there is a fog of war in the game, and if you don't have a guard... Or a workman in a room, uh, you will lose vision of the room. Uh, I, I think that's actually kind of cool. Let's see here, staff patrols. You see, I do have. I, I basically to keep these guards here, so I keep the cameras working. Uh, I basically assign guards to patrol the square, like in the area. I don't know if that's useful or not. I have guards patrolling out here, so people don't try to run away. Uh, Fingers crossed, I guess. Uh, this lets you know what your danger level is. My danger level has been pretty low, I'll be honest. Um, I'm kind of surprised at that. I'm pleasantly surprised at that, honestly. Alright, while these guys are working on this, I am going to do this and see if this works. Designate this as a maximum security area. Now, you have a limitation on your electric. In fact, this is actually getting to the point where I'm going to have to build another power station. You don't have the same limitations on water, oddly enough. I'm happy about that. It's fine with me. Right, let's check out the prisoners' needs and see what's going on here. Uh, some of the prisoners really need family. There is a very, very, very big critical uh, problem with family. However, it is going to, it's eating time now, and then after that, it's going to have two hours of free time. 
of which they can actually call their families on the phone here, and that'll alleviate that issue. Um, that's a big thing here. Need, finding out what your prisoners' needs are and kind of catering to them are kind of a big thing. Um, you cannot cater to them, but if you, do, if you don't do that, they're going to be angry and, um, you know, start beating up other prisoners, start beating up guards and trying to escape and stuff like that. Um, so people, some people really need food. They're going to get that here. You can see what's actually being attended to right now by that blue bar that's kind of coming up in there. Um, yeah, one of the reasons to put, uh, I've, you see the cameras here. This is the cameras at work. How they have that little cone of, of sight here. I've um, noticed that this these cameras don't actually, you know, fill up that room. But whatever. Um, let's speed time up a little bit here and watch these guys work. This is the thing about the, this sim game too. Um, and this is kind of the major thing. Stuff you build doesn't automatically show up like a lot of sim games. Uh, your workers have to actually build it. Uh, which takes time. So, and the problem is too, like if your prisoners start rioting and things like that. Oh, uh, somebody set up the metal detector. That's what that noise is. Uh, when somebody sets off the metal detector, they are immediately marked to be searched. Um, that guard there walked past someone who was set to be searched because apparently somebody other guard was already assigned to it. Uh, and that noise means some contraband was found. That little, like... Nope, that was found a spoon. Found a spoon, bad guy. You're going to be going in to uh, your lockdown for two hours. You stole a spoon, two hour lockdown. Not supposed to have a spoon, you should know that. Uh, so now they're out here in the yard, I should probably put a couple of lights out here, I mean, really. That's... I haven't done that, and that, that's kind of not nice. Alright, so they'll put the lights in out there, and that'll be a little bit better. Alright, uh, things on the to-do list. As you can see here, three prisoners are about to be released. Um, my prison is currently closed to new roommate, to new prisoners. I am going to under real soon. Uh, actually, there's somebody going to solitary confinement. I don't know why. I wonder what that's for. I have two people in solitary confinement. What did they do? Let's find out. Solitary confinement. Found weapons. Oh, yep, that's two hours solitary confinement. Finding weapons is bad. Uh, this person also found weapons on him. Hmm. Oops, well, the thing's doing what's... So, let's open this up to prisoners here. Um, go to the prisoner tab. Here's my prisoners. They're the happy bunch they are. And open this up. Now, every day at 8 o'clock, uh, if your our prison is open to new prisoners, every day at 8 o'clock, you will receive a random number of prisoners. Uh, I think the lowest is an 8, but um, I've seen it get up to, like, 15. Um, I tend... To, in this prison specifically, I have stopped it every time I have gotten close to my limit. Uh, or was going to go over my limit because I'm trying to actually run an orderly prison here. You can play this game as a continuous pace and basically just hold all of them in a holding cell. You can basically make a holding cell as big as you want to. You can make a holding cell... I could make this a holding cell. Like, this whole thing right here. I could just throw... I could take out all these walls, make this entire thing a holding cell, throw a ton of beds in here, like a couple of toilets and a few benches, call it a holding cell, and probably hold like 80 prisoners in it. Um, I have chosen not to do that because I thought that was kind of stupid. Uh, it is also a very good way to get your prisoners angry at you. <laughs> well, angry in general, not necessarily at you, but they're just angry. Uh, because they are, they have no privacy. And they have no, um, they are around a bunch of other people. And that's not nearly as fun. Um, so let's... Okay, now it is sleep time. It's 11 o'clock. Everybody needs to go to sleep now. So everyone's going to return their cells. Hopefully. Okay. And now you get to see the workers, the workmen, kind of do the rest of the stuff. Um, the reason this, this has been a very slow building process is because during the day the workers are actually going... Okay. All right, there we go. Um, and at every day at 12 o'clock is when this happens. You lost me? Hmm. <laughs> right, 
All right, I'm back. Yeah, okay, cool. Anyway, um... Anyway, um... So anyway, uh, but, uh, the, the... Anyway, as you see, wow, I got a lot of money for that. Yeah, those license plates got me $9,000. Um, so I would be able to buy this, but let's... Anyway, as I was saying before, the big problem here is that the workers in the middle of the day are spent mostly schlepping these stacks of metal sheets into these rooms. Uh, the prisoners are not allowed to go get these. The workmen have to go get them themselves. So, of course, that leads to things taking a very long time. Um, I'm getting latency issues. The game is lagging. Wow, I have four prisoners in me. Okay, well, it's good. Good thing I decided to order more prisoners. So this thing is taking a very long time to get made. That is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Game is kind of lagging on me. So, um, anyway, you can actually set this regiment here. Um, you can actually specifically give the the people yard time. I don't do that because if they want to go do recreation, they will do it in their free time. Um, in fact, I think some of my needs. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna back off on the work for an hour for the next few days. And I'm gonna give them a little extra free time because some of the needs here are not quite being fulfilled. Uh, like especially the family and the recreation. Uh, that is actually really high. You know, you know what? Uh, I think today actually, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do this this way. I think today we're just gonna give them the morning off. Uh, we're just gonna give them some free time. We're just gonna give them some free time. And, um... Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna give them a bit of free time today. Just do anything they want to. Uh, that's gonna severely cut back on my budget, but, you know, I... I it's okay. I, I, I'll live with it for one day. Again, because, you know, it's better to have happy prisoners. I can't tell if these lights aren't working or not. I don't really think these lights serve much of a purpose. They are inside a wall. Um, despite me not putting a guard out here, there is always a guard out here in the yard. Um, I don't know why. It's fine, I just, I, it's, it's not my decision to do that. Alrighty, so, let's... Alright, so it's coming on, let's see, it's coming on 6 o'clock. We get to see if my shower idea works. It would be actually be useful. You know what, actually... Okay, they do have two hours to eat in the morning, never mind. Uh, and I'm getting um, new prisoners in two hours. Alright, everyone's awake now. Everybody wake up. Everybody's awake. And... Shower time. Well... Well, as it turns out, all the prisoners who were here went here. But the maximum security prisoners who weren't here went down here. Now, I can't tell if that was just because this was closer. <laughs> or what. So. But it seems to have worked. At least to some extent. Um, actually should probably get a guard to kind of wander around in here. Just to make sure nothing's, uh... Kind of going on. 
fact, do I have a guard? Okay, I do have guards patrolling these. That's good. Uh, go over here. Go into here and get the common room. Alright, so, alright, so now, while everybody's eating, I'm gonna make sure the cell block is clear of any Because what happens is, you can click on any item in here, and you can order them to search the cell block, and that'll search every searchable thing in the cell block, which includes people. And I don't want them searching people right now. Because that, that if you search a prisoner needlessly, that makes them kind of upset. Um, and I'd rather not anger the prisoners. So what we're going to do is we're going to search the cell blocks. This is going to take a while. I might end up actually having to hire more guards. I'm actually serious about that. Alright, wait for these guys to get out of the prison block. Come on, guys. Get out of the prison block. And search the cell block. Alright. It's basically they go into each cell, search the bed and the toilet. And what you're going to see is a big thing of, you know, what's going on. Oh, crap. Forgot I have a delivery of prisoners, too. Well, that's going to make this interesting. Because the guards are going to be kind of occupied with searching, and they're going to not pick up these prisoners for a while. So there, there. The prisoners are in handcuffs, which means they're suppressed and they will not do anything. This guard is on patrol and therefore will not do anything. Oh, hey. And this guy was uh, destroying stuff in here. Huh. Well, he's a naughty guy. Uh-oh, I heard that noise. Aha, see, there we go. There is a trench. Somebody tried to escape. He was digging out. See, look at that. So what you have to actually do with that is you have to go to remove tunnels. Remove that. Uh-oh, I heard another one. Where, where was that at? Oh, maximum security guy, of course. Oh, wow. Who was trying to escape my prison? There's another one! Oh, this guy actually got kind of... No, I didn't. See, I I'm actually pretty on these guys. Pretty on this stuff. To the point where they don't tend to get too far. Uh, when they try to dig out. See, most of these are, like, two squares. They don't get too far. So let me see here. What do we got going on so far? We got two waiting solitary confinement, two in lockdown. I haven't even not, I haven't, haven't even searched the other block yet, but here another one. Jeez. Prisoners are just... They're just trying to get away, aren't they? You know what? I'm gonna order everybody into the yard. It's yard time for everybody! Means you have to be out of the cell blocks. So I can then search the cell blocks. Go back on the free time now. You can go do whatever you want to now. 
Go and be merry, prisoners. Let's see here, 81 cells. Is that the number of cells I had? I think it was. Um, because if there's a hole in the cell, um, this number will change because it's no longer a good cell. Ooh, wow, so this person actually got kind of far. Still only three squares, though. I've been pretty good about keeping people from getting too far. There we go. So, what's the result of that? We have three people in lockdown, uh, one person in solitary confinement waiting for... Yeah, oh boy, recess. Uh, we have, uh... Three people in lockdown, uh, four people going into, um... Solitary confinement. This guy's in lockdown. Found tools. Don't know if they exactly... Now I get to go to work. Now I'm going to reinstate work time from the... Here. Tend to give people an hour of free time. Actually, I think it's two hours of free time here. What happens is if you're caught with contraband by walking through here, the guards, I have it set up where the guards will then immediately search your cell uh, for other contraband. Um, because we've just taken contraband once, we'll probably do it again. Uh, my income is going to be ridiculously lower because I cut out the work time today, but it was kind of useful to kind of, uh, let, actually, well, let's see how useful it really was. Usefulness. Yeah, look at that. The, the family and the recreation that was, like, all the way up here, like, it's gone. But the only thing people are ticked off about now is food and sleep. And they will get both of those in a couple of hours. So, this guy, this poor guy is in solitary confinement. They found the drugs. Now people working away. Uh, let me see here how that is working out, too. Um, okay, somewhere a job is not being fulfilled. It was there. Okay. Yeah, that's the janitor, so that's fine. So, I'm actually expecting nine, eight more prisoners soon. I could hold. 11 more, so I will take those eight prisoners. In fact, two of them are be two more prisoners are being released. So, I will be able to hold 13 new prisoners. So, there we go. Um, these trucks are continuous. Um, they just... They pretty much these... What happens is anytime you order anything built... Uh, and anytime you're going to order anything built, these trucks will bring most of the supplies. Actually, here's like ingredients for food and you know, for the kitchen, and then here's a bunch of sheets for like this stuff over here. I don't know how many cooks you need to have to feed everybody, but this red bar makes me un slightly nervous, so I'm going to hire another cook, because I can. I'm going to install another fridge and another cooker, because that seems like a good idea. There's a cooker. And where's the fridge? There's the fridge. And, you know, because I'm kind of a sanitary kind of guy, I'm going to install another sink. Uh, because this one might be getting a little overworked. I don't know if you need multiple serving tables. I really have no idea that is something we need. I also don't have any more room with the way this is set up. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going... Uh, they're eating now, I should wait. What I'm actually going to do is I'm probably going to dismantle them. The only way to move objects is to dismantle them and then have them really place them here. So what I'm probably going to do is dismantle the serving table, move it over one, and put another serving table over here. In the meantime... It's eating time. Right, get some food and eat and stuff. All right, the sick needs the sick needs water. Right, who knew? Um. Yep. 
Water you shall have. At some point. Now everybody goes off to do again whatever they want to. And now uh, and rinse and repeat, basically. Um I have had a prison riot before. It's actually kind of hard to uh, quell. See, now my prisoners are my my max security prisoners are going in here. Even though I told I have that designated. See, so I I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually keep them separate like that. That'd be cool and all, but I guess not. Anyway, um, I do need to make more maximum security things since I kind of have that. So let's actually, I'll build the foundation. We'll show you how that works. I'm going to build a foundation. Uh, so basically build more more building. So here we go. Build the foundation. Um, requires an entrance. There will be an entrance because what I'm going to do is basically just kind of knock down this wall. In fact, you know what? I should do Make it like this. Uh, you can, the way I had it, it wouldn't have knocked down the wall, but I'm going to knock the wall down. Um, so when they build this thing, when it's done, they will knock this wall out. Uh, this wall will not be knocked out, though. Um, it, it's, it, and they do it in a way, so they build it first and then knock the wall down. They don't knock the wall down and then start building it so prisoners can, like, you know, walk away. That would be funny. There's all my workmen. There they go, look at them. They're coming in line. It's like them, like the, the, I don't know what it's like, but they're like cool and stuff. Yeah, they have a selection tool thing here. It doesn't seem to do anything. Again, alpha, you know, so it's just life. Um, so there it is. Uh, they're gonna build this up here. I'm, yeah, my license plate. That that was, that was still five thousand dollars, but that was that's like about half of what I was getting. Again, because I cut cut my work hours in half. So there they go and laying out the foundation. They, they build this stuff kind of quick. They're, they're pretty efficient at this stuff. Um, got that all taken care of. And there you go. See, and the wall just kind of came crumbling down. Oops. I am really bad at this. Foundation. Uh, foundation. Yeah, I actually want you to go up to here. <laughs> so, yes. Which they'll go do. I think I still managed to screw that up somehow. I probably will have like a piece of wall sitting out here. I am actually certain I'm going to. Oh well. Uh, the nice thing about this is it actually has this cool planning tool. Uh, you can draw things out, um, kind of like this, and um, and plan, you know, stuff. These are cells. That's how big cells have to be. Oh. I went one too long. See, I should have done this before. I went one line too big. That's okay, though. I'm actually probably not going to build the cells up that high. Probably just build them to here. Yeah, see, I knew I was going to do that. Demolish wall. Demolish that little piece there. Alright, so let's plan out how my cells are going to look. Let me see something here. Let me see something here. Let me see something here. Echo. Yeah. Gosh, I hate to say this. I think that's you. Alright, um... Hmm. 
Well, that's not going to work so well. I wonder if I... Actually, wait. No, if I just did it this way... See here, hold on. There's, I don't need that space there. Then... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, it gives us this kind of two thing here, but I don't mind a two... two-way pathway, because it's going to go up anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah, what we'll do, we'll do that. I'm going to build a little extra prison block here. For your all amusement, and then we'll call that a night. So... Let's do that, shall we? I have way enough money to write this all out right now. That little lies. I got even eight more prisoners. Um, and let me see. Um, now, next, tomorrow, there's going to be 12 new prisoners. Um, at the moment, I can't handle that. But, I should be able to by the time I'm finished with this. So, let's get the beds installed. Beds. And let's get the toilets installed. Oops. Right. I was gonna say I kind of like him behind the wall, but you know what? No one actually cares about pro um, privacy in the toilets. I mean, they shower in front of everybody. I don't care. There you go. Now everything's all queued up. Um, and in a few more minutes, we shall have an entire, like, 12 prisoner prison block. And I'll actually be able to take in these 12 prisoners who are coming here. Um, I'll see. The problem is with that... Um, this has now become two, one separate thing. I think what I'm going to do for that is this. I'm put a jail door. I could. Oh, crap. Utilities. I completely forgot about the utilities. Water pipes. Must have water to the toilets. That is kind of a problem. And then we have to have electric. This way, up this way. I don't think I'm going to be able to expand this much further. Yeah, that might be it, actually. I'm going to have to get a new... The problem with these power things are if you have... Um, if you have, you can have multiple power stations, but you cannot connect anything from the second power station to anything that's on the first power station. Anyway, like, I cannot connect cords from one power station to the other. If you do, they will short. That's intended, I think. I don't know if I like it, but it's intended, so I don't care. It's not what I like. It's what the devs like. Um... Oh, yeah, you can click on the prisoners and see what they've done. This guy's aggravated burglary for 16 years. He pled guilty. Um, right. <laughs> I think uh, he got... I think these are people who kind of, like, uh, help kickstart the game or something like that or paid for a person that could do this kind of stuff. Um, 
check and make sure I haven't anybody escaped. Okay, it's still five. Yeah, I, I've had five people escape. Haven't had any murders in the prison yet, but um, serious injury. There is somebody who's seriously injured right now. Who is seriously injured right now? Guys getting released. Uh, nobody's injured right now. Meantime, we're still waiting for these guys to finish up. See, again, the problem is that they are now the workmen are now taking these deliveries here, so it is actually slowing them down. So you know what? I'm going to hire more. There you go. Hire two more workmen. Can help get stuff done. I mean, they're just going to be moving stuff along, but you know, more the merrier. One visitor here in one group. That's some guy's father. Sometimes a lawyer will show up. I don't know if that does anything for him. Like, other than, like, the whole freedom bit. I don't know. Problem is, I have no room on this generator here. I have no more room for capacitors. So if this bar gets all the way to the top, this thing will blow and I will have absolutely nothing to prevent that from happening. No. Come on, guys, install the pipes already. cells and it will automatically like delineate between these because of because of the walls here. So it's got some cells there. Not tell them to put that wall in there. I did not. I am intelligent. <laughs> Waiting for them to put the wall in there and I never told them to do that. Just like I may never have told them to actually put a bed in here. Oh, I did tell them to put a bed in here. Okay. Should probably check on my prisoners, see how everything's going. Eating! They're all eating now. Hooray! Go eating. Still only five people escaped. I haven't had an escape in a while. That's good. <laughs> See. It's a problem with there not being a bed in the room, except there's a bed in the room. Alrighty. I wonder if this works. Let's find out. It did. Nice. So there we go. I have. Twelve new cells, just like that. Um, see, I don't know why it does this. Like, why these are separately designatable. Alright, so, but I've lost my, uh... Thing in the process. And I'm not sure I can get that back. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. See if this works. Objects. Jail door. Put a jail door in. Objects, large jail door, put a large jail door there. And let's see how long it takes for my workers to get there with it. That locked open. You can actually have it locked shut too. So it'll all of it explode and this is slavery sleeping, so. Alright, I want to 
wonder if that works. Um, oh, there's a train. Let me see. It did work. Check that out. Okay, so I'm going to dismiss this as a maximum security. How many of them do I have? 17? That's 12. He was lost in prisoner. He didn't escape, did he? All right. Um, math is not good. Um, so if I have three, so 12 up here and 12 down here, that's 24. 24 cells. I have to do a little bit of math. Hang on a second. I need two possible cells. 24 of them are that. 68 of them are normal. Would be normal then? No, okay. I can't actually afford to designate both of those as maximum security because then I'll have no place to put the new guys. And yeah, look at that. Almost $10,000 just from license plates. I mean, that's kind of insane. So that's my prison, basically. Um, that's Prison Architect. It's a great little game. Um, it's not, not too, um, not too expensive. Uh, I did buy it on sale, though, so I can't quite promise that. But no, um, I would uh, highly recommend it. Uh, fun little game. It's still in alpha. Again, there's a lot of bugs. You've actually probably seen more than a few of them. But, um, yeah, no, it's fun. I'm having fun with this. Uh, probably will uh, do a few more, like, videos or uh, probably stream a lot more. So uh, come check it out if you want. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Laters!